today we're going to do a little different video. We're going to show you a little bit how I stay in shape on the road. We're Bob and Barb. We've lived by the rules all of our lives, but in 2020, we threw that rule book out the window. We sold our home and moved full time into an RV with our cat, Amelia. And from now on, we will be living life our way. Don't you want to come travel in our world? Besides our walking, which we get lots of it since retirement, this is something I wanted to do in the past. I always worked out on machines at home or have elliptical. Here in the parks, you go to one park, it's got a halfway decent gym. You go to another park, uh, the, the machines are half broke or they're dirty, just not uh, well maintained. So what I want to do is develop a program where I can work out in my home, which is our RV, and do it safely and cleanly. I searched on Google and then on Amazon, I found the uh, band uh, exercises. What this is, is four different elastic bands which give you different resistance. This gives you full movement of your exercise. So if you're going to bicep to exercise, you're getting full range of motion. So you want to be able to keep all the fluids moving in your body so nothing yeah. sets into any joints and locks you up. I also searched and found a just a basic six exercise. And I'll do these three days a week. I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or, or you know, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, however our schedule works out. What I want to do is just go over these exercises, show you what I do, and then um, Barb will fast forward to it so you're not bored with all the reps. Because most of these exercises, like the bicep curls, is 10 reps, three sets. So you want to pick the band that will suit the exercise. I just want to touch a little bit on the different bands. The green one would be, is the thickest of the bands or the widest, so this will give you the most resistance. For me right now, I rarely use this one. And then your purple is your, on, on this group, the purple is the next band. And then you have the black band, which I use a lot, and the red band is the least resistant, so that's how these bands are classified. When you're doing resistance, like I'm gonna start out with a curl, that's a, a basic curl. So if I start my feet out right there, and I pull up with this on a curl, like this, I get a little bit of resistance. If I widen my feet out, of course I'm taking slack away from that band, so it's gonna give me a stronger bicep curl. So this is, what I, this is what I do. Uh, so you can pick the band, but you can also pick your stance on how much resistance you want. So this is the bicep curl. The second exercise in this group of six is squats. Once again, I'm choosing the purple band. Uh, legs are normally fairly strong, stronger than arms, so this is the one I choose. You can see our kitty cat having a fun time chasing Chet. She's working out too. That's part of her exercise routine is shadows. So once again, spread your feet according to where you want the resistance to be. This is a, is a squat, so you're going to put this behind your neck and you're going to squat like this. Squats are good. So good posture, straight up and down. And you can go at your own pace. You don't have to go super fast or super slow, just whatever feels comfortable. All right, this third exercise is what they call a cross body reach. So just as it describes, on this one, I'm using the lightest band because it's a long reach exercise. And like I said, it's, it's using both sides. So you can step on this band wherever you need to stand on it to give you the resistance you want. So I, I choose the, so we want a good stance and we want to just cross our body. 
we'll do both arms. Good for the shoulders. Good stretching moment, motion. Fourth exercise is called a shoulder stretch, and I choose the uh, black band. In between my sets, I'm working out with Kitty Cat Amelia because she's chasing shadows. So on this one, you're going to step on with one foot. Then you're going to put this behind your head and just kind of good posture. You're going to go up. Stretch all the way up that you can. Yep. Full range of motion. Like that. Before I go any further, I want to give you Bob's disclaimer. Before you do any exercise, you should always consult your doctor to make sure you're physically ready for exercise. So that's our disclaimer. And what works for us may not always work for you. Yep, there's tons of uh, band exercises you can do. These are just the six that I choose that are give you good flexibility. So this next one is a uh, it's a tricep. Uh, extension. So, trying to get the backs of the tries. So, what you want to do in this, you want to step over the band. And, like I said, the further you spread, the more you're going to get uh, extension, the more you're going to get uh, resistance. So, this is the black band, and I'm going to go. And while Bob's doing this, why do we do bands? They're easy to carry in an RV as opposed to having heavy weights. And you get the same workout as you would if you were carrying a heavy weight, at least for us. Yeah, believe me, it gives you a great workout. And for less than $30, you got a workout gym in your camper. So it's, it's, it's you can't get any better, any more simple. exercise is the upright row. So like all of them, your legs according to how much tension you want. You're gonna this band this one you're gonna cross the bands over in front of you and you're just gonna pull up. And remember the thicker the band the more resistance you get. That's the purpose of the band. You spread your legs apart. Yep. It's gonna give you more resistance. Yep. So a lighter band, if you spread, if I spread my legs out here, I'm going to get a lot more tension. And the nice thing about a band exercise, it gives you that full um, motion where if you're doing a bicep curl with a curl, you get the weight at the beginning and then you kind of lose it in the middle and then you get it at the end. Where this, I get the full weight the whole entire time against my muscle foot resistance. That's why bands give you such a good workout. That's our six basic exercises. Um, 
the one thing I wanted to add is on these exercises, you can make them your own. So when I just do the basic um, curl, if I want to bring my arms close together, if I want to bring my arms out, I get my shoulders into it so I can get a whole different workout. So every one of these exercises, no matter where you put your hands, how far you put your legs apart, will give you a different workout. So that's what I wanted to add. So. There's no instruction that come with the bands. We He searched the internet and found the ones that he wanted to do. So he has those, but you, just, you can do the exact same thing. Okay, so we will continue on with what we do next. In between my workout, my kitty cat Amelia gets a workout too. You've seen her chasing the shadows. She chases the bands. Her favorite toy is my thermal gauge here, which has a little LED light on it. So we'll get her to see if I can get her. I gotta get her in the eye of this. Get her over here where she can see the. It's over here, sweetheart. Yes, yeah, she can't see. Normally we do this at night. There we go. Now she'll be able to see the dot. There we go. She's tired because she had a workout like me. This is Amelia's day is. 90% sleep, yeah. 5% uh, eating, and 5% chasing laser lights or exercising with me. Um, and because uh, she's not an outdoor kitty cat, she hates the outdoors. She grew up on a farm, but she don't like the Amelia. outdoors. Amelia, you're not doing your running around like you do. That's because she's wore out because yeah. she worked out with me. Normally, we don't do both at the same time. She does the bands in the morning, and she does this at night. She's not really interested in electric light. Nope. She just went to the vet and she's very healthy. Yep. And she's such a good kitty cat. She doesn't even have to go into a carrier she's at the she's, vet. She's, yep. As Barb said, Amelia, she just went to her yearly checkup, got all her shots, and she's perfectly healthy. 12 pound female catico kitty cat. Amelia, I love you. She has stayed nice and slender. Yep. Um, in the camping but she doesn't go out much or she doesn't go out at all she's a strictly an indoor cat she don't okay. like the outdoors we try to take her outside she tries to escape so she likes looking at her windows and chasing leaves and chasing birds if we're in yep. a, this park or doesn't have a lot of trees right up against the she camping. does have her series of toys over there which she does kill when they yeah. misbehave yeah she beats them up on occasion so. otherwise she likes to sleep right amelia all right, Bob, how do you stay hydrated? With all exercise, you want to make sure you stay hydrated before, during, and after. So what I use is a little electrolyte powder in a 16 ounce water. And it's, in between reps, I get me a nice good drink. It's all natural. Our water comes from our Berkey, so it's filtered. Uh, the electrolyte powder has our trace minerals in there and it mixes in very well and it's got erythritol in it so it gives it a little bit of a, a taste plus it's got a, a um, an organic fl natural flavor which got, this has got an orange flavor yeah too. there's an orange there's a raspberry lemonade it's a and slight lemonade. Thing. it's not strong but it, it uh... and then we always add an extra tablespoon of lemon to it yep. okay bob so what else do bob and barb do on the road our fitbits and barb researched these these are just a basic fitbit and we choose not to use them on the watch. We choose to hook them on our belts. So what we'll do is just stick them on our pants. And basically these are to track our steps. Yep, yeah, these these are steps and calories. We don't have all the bells and whistles. Yeah. And when you got them on your, on your waist or Barb hangs hers on her shirt, um, you don't get all the, the sleep stuff and, and the heart rate and, and all that rate. stuff i mean it comes with the band for your wrist if you want to put it on and then so, so it's it's a tiny little guy yep yeah. and he's got a little charger thing in the back that he comes with that he it'll, just it'll show you, the, you know, the time of the day it'll give you a uh, percentage of charges it's got a little base charger it will track your water if you want to enter it through the app on the phone it tucks steps, your calories your steps calories um, burned um just your How all, many miles all, you go. Your, all your basic stuff. And then the neat thing about it is it'll track you in the app. Yeah. Bob's phone Fitbit is in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and hit Fitbit. And it's Fitbit Inspire that we have. And there's lots of different things you can track in here, but we're not going to go through this. I was just going to show you what Bob looks at every time he goes in here. Yeah, these are just my stats for the day. Um, 
So it counts my steps daily and I also count my miles and I count my calories burned. And then this stat down here is the uh, two out of four up reach 250 steps in, a, in an hour. So of course it changes daily on that. And then it'll also just give you your, um, if you click on it, it'll give you your weekly totals and stuff like that. So you can scroll down through it. Where's your, the big totals, the stuff where it shows everything? Well, it gives you your weekly total here. Yeah, you try to do how many steps a week? I try to hit 60,000 a week, which most weeks I do hit 60. Um, that's my goal, so. That's our goal. Yep. <laughs> All yep. right. Well, that's how the app works. And then right. this is the cool thing we got from, I got off Amazon, and it, it was, like, super cheap. I think it was a dollar or something for two. So mine is pink and his is black. But it just fits right in there and then it hooks on your belt. So what is the next thing that we do together? Well, we we do a lot of walking since retirement. Now we got the time to walk and there's no excuse not to walk because as you can see outside it's beautiful. Most of the days so far since we've been retired mostly been uh, sunny. So we try to get out and walk even we got the, the cold freeze down in uh, yeah. down in Texas. Three jackets, sweatpants. Yeah. Yeah, you can I do just it. put the sweatpants on. I was good. I told myself I was never going to wear long pants again because I'm chasing <laughs> 70 degrees. And, um, well, down there we chased 26 degrees because that's <laughs> what it got to a couple nights. But during the day, it warmed up pretty quick. But we go out and walk. We, we get to every two to three weeks, we move to another park. So we get out and explore the park. Yep. Um, sometimes, like in South Texas, we were, two parks were side by side. So we got to walk her in between the fence through the dog park and go out and uh, walk get on the, the other park yeah walk the other park so whether we're walking in parks or we go out to state parks take walking trails uh, we've been on paved trails we've been on rugged trails yesterday we walked on a seven and a half mile trail that was a lot of roots and a uh, little roots. uphill not not real bad but they called it difficulty but I, I, we've been a lot worse than ones in the smoky mountains where you're climbing two thousand foot elevation uh texas on at least this part of texas is pretty level so there's not a real lot of elevation changes i mean but, the point is is you get outside and you become you know you walk at your own pace we don't yeah. run no. um we don't you know walk fast i mean we were walking fast when it was cold but um you you walk at your own pace because your whole idea is that you're clear in your mind you're thinking right. you're becoming one with nature and the world around you and you're getting a lot of vitamin d you know which is really good for your body as well and we walk at a good pace but you can yeah. walk at the pace that works for you so now let's see what barb does by herself for exercising you all know how i stay in shape with the bands this is barb's favorite exercise she likes to find the parks with the pools i like the pools too but she loves them for the exercise so the final way that i work on exercising in my beautiful 44 foot rv is that i do yoga and i do it with a, a lady named brenda balkin and she's shine yoga meditation and I'm going to have her um, Instagram information and Facebook information listed here. Um, but it's pretty interesting. She offers all kinds of different things from, you know, creating a yoga program for you to uh, helping you clear your, you know, body out and make it ready for different seasons. Like there's a spring uh, central one that I've been working on also. But this is my um, basic yoga one that I'm going to do today for you. And we will go through it fast so you can understand at least what I'm trying to do.
Okay, so I'm going to take a second here at the end of the video just to share with you why I work with Brenda Balkan at Shine Yoga and Meditation. I've known Brenda for six or seven years now. She is an incredible massage therapist. If you happen to be in Batesville, Indiana, contact her through the website and schedule a massage. She does really good massages of all kinds, but her biggest thing is that she does spiritual massage and healing, and she is very good at it. Um, I look forward to when I go back to Indiana to get my massages because I can't get the same when I'm out of town. The other thing that her and Morgan are doing together, Morgan is her niece and she is like a musical genius and she has albums that come out 
and different songs that come out every week. So she's someone definitely to look into. She does all kinds of music for music that's great for relaxation and all that kind of stuff, as well as fun pop songs and silly love songs and all that kind of stuff like that. But together they've kind of created this site and they're working on a balance of spiritual mind and kind of music, bending it and moving it all together to put it into a format that can work for you. They have different yoga videos they put up for free on their site. They have some uh, charges for some small things, but they're super reasonable. Something definitely to check out. And then um, if you're interested in having Brenda do something for you, it's very reasonable. Contact her, tell her that Barb sent you and she can put something together for you. And the, the video that I do, I actually have three of them, but they're about 20 minutes long. The one that I shared with you was more of a basic one, but there's different levels and stuff like that. And she has her um, yoga training certificate. So I just wanted to share that with you. So I hope that you like this video. It is something different for us, but we're just trying to share who we are. So please give us a thumbs up. Please comment below. Please check the little notification bell to get notified. Subscribe. And remember, I'm Barb from Hedda's World, so come travel in our world.